brothers in arms. Jacob Kern's buddies are his lifesaver, and Jacob's parents couldn't be more grateful. I want to thank all you guys because you guys gave us the best gift ever, and that's our son. This crew has been by each other's side since they were little while growing up in the Inland Empire community of Eastvale. They're now ninth graders at Eleanor Roosevelt High. Three weeks ago, they were riding bikes at this intersection when a car hit Jacob hard. I just remember hearing a loud bang, and I turned around and I heard car, like, tires screeching. This is the bike that Jacob was riding at the time of the accident. You see how badly damaged it is. He was wearing this helmet, which may have saved his life. You see the crack right there. Jacob's friends rushed to help. It was just terrifying having to just like see him there. I just kind of stopped thinking. I was so worried about him. So I was just like keeping my like uh, feet and hands under his head so it like wouldn't hit the ground. All I remember is that my friends saved me and Miss Heather saved me. Miss Heather is Heather Christopher, who happened to be driving by. What I did was I parked my car um, sideways in front of him to block his body from being hit by traffic. Um, and I realized that he had um, an injury, so I supported his head and his neck until um, the ambulance and his mom got there. Heather had never met Jacob before this moment. This was just like a stranger kid on the street, yes, and sir. you just felt like, I gotta do something. I have to, yeah. That's what good people do. Jacob's parents are overwhelmed. If it wasn't for them, he probably would have gotten ran over by somebody in the street. Jacob was diagnosed with a brain bleed, at first, he couldn't walk or talk, but that didn't stop his buddies from continuing to call his hospital room. They would FaceTime, and I finally saw my son smile for the first time since the accident, and they really helped him get through it. With Jacob's bike ruined, his friends all chipped in to buy him this brand new bike. We just wanted to be good friends and get him, like, the best-looking bike that we could find. Jacob's mom wants to return the favor. What you guys don't know is that she reached out to us. She asked the helpful Honda dealers for help getting Jacob's friends their own new bikes and helmets. We've got a little bit of a surprise for you guys, uh, and why don't we come outside to check that out. The boys are stunned. I to thank you for your act of service. We are presenting you with brand new bikes and helmets. Jeez. Oh my God. I see their ads all the time. <laughs> and to think something like this would happen to us, oh my God. The new bikes aren't the only surprise. We've rented out a local movie theater tonight for you to get a private screening of Spider-Man. Here are images from that very special showing. <laughs> Honda also giving Jacob a mobility van to help him move around easier. It's emotional for Crystal Reyna, the mother of Nicholas, one of Jacob's friends. When this accident happened to Jacob, it's like it happened to us as parents because he's like one of our own. What do you think is the, the lesson that, that us adults can learn from these kids? Oh my goodness, love your neighbor. You see somebody in need, you step in. Jacob has a ways to go, physically and mentally. But doctors said he's way ahead of schedule. The doctors were just like, he's a miracle. Don't let anyone tell you they can't do anything. Believe in yourself and always follow your dreams. Really a, uh, <laughs> that, uh, yeah, a testament, a <laughs> testament to the power of friendship, right? And, yeah. and the power of community and love and positive thinking and people coming together. And that's what good people do. That's what she said. Yeah, that's you know? what good people do. Uh, yeah, that's pretty amazing. That. And Noah, thank you for that huge, I did a belly laugh when he said, <laughs> I see their ads all the time. Yeah. And Jacob, you're, uh, you're a hero. So yeah. keep on going. You got this.